Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be talking about Atlas. Specifically we're going to dive into this huge update that's coming up uh, but first I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. First things first I will be reinstalling Atlas in order to test this out. Um, it's supposed to come later today when this video launches so you guys should see this video coming or this this huge update coming later today that will be a server wipe on official all that kind of fun stuff uh, so i'll let you guys know uh, when that comes out you guys will know i'll put a little community post out there however uh, before we jump into the patch notes i do want to talk about two things first off we do have a giveaway going on right now it's a digital visa gift card giveaway i'll leave a link to that down in the description down below that is specifically for a brand new channel we started it's called life with lemur we talk about something completely unrelated to video games on it we talk about all kinds of different issues and stuff and have a conversation conversation around them so go check that out i'll leave a link to it down below also but let's go ahead and start talking about all the atlas stuff and have a conversation with that so let's just jump to the desktop and take a look all right welcome to my desktop here we are and let's go ahead and take a look at these big patch notes that are coming out first off let's just talk about really quick published test realm is here so you guys can test all the new stuff on there if you want to check it out um we'll leave a link to that little information down below don't want to get into that one too much because i want to talk about what's happening to later today uh quote unquote let's be real honest for about five seconds and say it could be in three months from now we really don't know they say it's supposed to be today however it could be within the next three months we'll be clear uh but we'll go ahead and assume some positive intent and say it's going to be today so let's take a look at all these big patches that are coming up and to do that uh we're just going to go right into captain's log 22 Captain Logs 23 uh, or 22 was uh, talking about the wipe specifically, talking about some of the milestones and gave an idea for it. However, they've changed a lot of this information into Captain's Log 23 to be more specific. So we're just going to talk about Captain Logs 23. So let's talk about what the major things that they're looking at. Their primary milestones that they're looking at is the world redesign. They're adding a whole crap load of violence, all kinds of new MMO aspects of it. Um, they're adding a new war system and they're changing the way claims are done on both PvP and PvP. On top of that, Ship of the Dams are changing. They're adding the submarine. They're adding the giant crab, adding bugs you can squish. There's going to be curses, cosmetics, quality of life improvements, guillotine, play player shops, and vitamin rebalance. Let me just put it this way holy crap if this all goes decently well we could see some serious positive aspects to atlas so fingers crossed let's jump into it so uh we're just gonna go right down the list we're gonna highlight some key points on here all right guys so let's go ahead and jump into the details specifically around claim changes first things first let's talk about the pve claim changes then we'll jump over to the pvp claim changes uh overall pve they're going to keep them they're going to be there in general they decided to go away with the lawless-esque servers idea uh, where they're going to say there was no claim changes however this time um, we're going to have a little bit of a difference specifically they're going to be looking at how many claim points people can have so the goal is, is they're going to put hard caps and they're going to be lower than normal uh, of how many claims a single person can have. So if you're a single player, we're going to make up some numbers here. They are not specific as you guys can see right here. So for example, if you're a single player player, single player on the PVE servers, you might only get five claims you can claim throughout the entire map. That's it. Five. Count them. One hand. Five. That's it. That's all you get. Um, however, if you've got a tribe of uh, tribe a company of a hundred you probably could possibly have upwards of a hundred claims so we don't know exactly what it is they said it's going to be somewhat exponentially decreasing uh, to where basically um, the smaller person so that single player does get a larger number than if it's two and and it kind of goes down from there so like if you have a company of 10 versus maybe 50 the, com the amount of claims you can have might only change by three or four. I don't know. I'm making up arbitrary numbers to be clear, but I'm giving you an idea of what we're talking about specifically, um, which means you get more claim points that you can have. So then we're going to scroll down to PVP claim options on here. Um, however, I did forget something in PVE. I want to jump on really quick. Uh, there are no more alliances allowed on PVE. Uh, you only can have it on there. They're looking at an alternative for communication on PVE servers, just as a heads up for everyone. All right, so let's go ahead and go down to PVP claims. Uh, basically, they're going to add a bunch of new options on here to control how long, com uh, who can be on your land, who can use your cannons, uh, delay on joining new companies, stuff like that. Nothing crazy. Overall, it's um, there's been some limitations in how they 
uh, on alliances and how they impact people. So, you know, there's a couple large companies and everyone's in these huge alliances that ends up working on there. And it just overall, um, they're trying to change it to where people can't just make a Ford operating base and just drop a turret somewhere and just take over an area. So um, that's what we're kind of talking about here. Um, they're going to look at that one more. I think there's going to be more detail coming out with that. And we'll have to check that one out firsthand to really get it going. Uh, next thing is there's going to be a secure trading system. Uh, that means basically you're going to have player-run shops. Um, you'll be able to experience this uh, on the PTR, so the the, uh, the test server. Uh, but basically it's going to be secure trading to where you can go ahead and have a shop, put some items on there so someone can buy them from you, and then they get them from your shop, and then they take off. So those shops will be an option that you guys have on those things. The next thing is, is we are finally going to have a reason to go down to those shipwrecks and there's going to be generated shipwrecks that basically have loot um, and all kinds of different things that are going to be inside of them. Uh, you can't harvest certain things, um, but you can use your submarine to directly attack the shipwreck to harvest loot, um, but that basically just goes ahead and basically activates a timer. The timer is uh, there for a certain amount of time. Once that timer goes up, the shipwreck goes away. Uh, if you don't get the loot or you don't harvest whatever you're going to harvest, uh, it all goes away. So that's just to give you an idea. As we said, the PTR is already live, so we're going to whoop, skip right past that. Uh, additionally, they're going to be rolling out some cool new uh, cosmetic stuff. So you got the peg leg, as you guys can see on this one right here, and then you've got the awesome hook going on right there. It looks fantastic. Uh, and really, they're going to have more dynamic maps. Um, but one of the things that they didn't list on 23 that were listed on 22, and that's where we're going to jump back now, is going to be all these other things that are happening so those were the big changes that they changed from 23 to 22 that we're not going to skip over now for the claims and all that stuff uh basically there's going to be settlements where you can have those where outside of wartime you guys can use those and have those and um you know focus on building defensive structures and and only can build offensive structures during wartime that kind of stuff um and in general try to focus on fixing some of these things as we said with the PVE network this is 22 they said they're not going to do it now let's talk about the world and what they're going to be changing specifically um, that is they're going to be adding over 200 islands to the network approximately one additional island per grid is the goal on this one is what they're going for uh, and basically when the game launches from their experiences from the launch of the game they've decided that they're going to tempor temporarily enable the ability to click any server as your home server when we start out on this game uh, after the server wipe and this will allow everyone to go to every different server with thus allowing people have the opportunity to actually log into the game for the first time when the game servers wipe and all that kind of fun stuff so we won't all be sitting there doing the loading screen loading screen streams that there were on day one so uh, i hope you guys go ahead and check that out um as we said the submarine's going to be coming out it's going to be really nice it's going to acquire fuel to run um, and it, all that kind of fun stuff. The submarine will not outclass ships. You'll pay uh, a lot in fuel just to keep up with them for the ships, uh, and you can use those. So basically, um, you can get those by defeating the Kraken specifically. Uh, there will be able to be passengers uh, in the other submarine, um, and you can be in the submarine if you haven't finished the Kraken quest, just as an idea. There is going to be a new deep ocean trench. Um, there's going to be some powerful underwater creatures, and specifically you'll get the tab, uh, the new giant crab there. Um, those are going to be the ruins, uh, and they contain eight new power stones that can fight a more difficult version of the Kraken, so a.k.a. the boss can be opened up with a larger, larger version, new resources, new creatures. As I said, the crab is going to be down there. Here you can see uh, the crab is right here, here, and here, so it kind of looks like the Karkanas. Uh, from Ark specifically. So uh, that's the one we're going to have. The Eastern Tundra has new visual design compared to the Western Tundra. The guillotine's coming out. This is going to be part of that claim system where we can now put bounties on people's heads. You chop them off, you can put them on a spike, uh, and it's kind of fun like that. So you guys get some cool stuff, uh, and it'll look really nice on there. Um, you can decorate these on wall hooks and gun mounts also. So basically, we can put these wall hooks on our ships hang our heads on there and we can put our friends heads on the side of our ships just like a fantastic uh the next thing is uh curses these are going to be tied to executed players um basically in a nutshell when you execute someone that you will receive a percentage of their experience points um and you can't be using this over and over in order to get that and abuse someone for it um it just helps Gives something extra to killing someone with a guillotine specifically and executing them. Uh, the next thing is the ships of the dams. Now they're going to come in squads. Um, 
so basically you're going to see like this where you've got multiple ships that you're going to be fighting so you might have to have multiple people uh and multiple ships fighting these squads of ships of the dams uh so that's going to be a fun little blasty blast that we're going to have to be dealing with uh and it's really going to be kind of uh, important to loot um now also don't forget uh your ship or your the loot is going to be based off of how many ships you kill so if you don't kill them all then you'll still get loot from the ships you do kill uh, we talked about the peg hook and the legs. However, they're going to also be doing some awesome armor sets uh, to customize the way people look. These are permanent unlocks for completing the quests that you have. Uh, you guys can check these out here. Um, there's some really nifty ones in there. Um, and basically, as we said, the, uh, the player shops are going to be in the free port. I'm not going to go into the quality of life changes. Uh, you guys can read through those on your own. Uh, however, that's really going to do it for this March update. Uh, and now I'm going to give a quick second to talk about my feelings about Atlas, where it is, where it's going, and all that kind of fun stuff. So first things first, uh, if you didn't catch it at the beginning of the video, I have uninstalled Atlas at this point. I am going to reinstall it and attempt to play the game one more time. Uh, the first time really gave me a bad uh, taste in my mouth for the game. It was really redundant, wasn't fun, and overall was missing the MMO aspect I was really looking for. Uh, maybe it wasn't because I didn't have a big enough company, who knows. But in general, um, it wasn't the funnest thing for me. So I'm going to go into this with fresh eyes, try to look at it, try to have some fun, go in with the knowledge that I have and the knowledge that my friends have looking at this game specifically. We might do a couple episodes, day one type stuff where you guys are actually see some gameplay. I'll talk about it. We'll start talking about Atlas again, having a conversation about how I feel the changes went. We'll do an update video and talk about it, but we're going to give it a shot, have an opportunity with it, but this is kind of my... My last shot at this one, uh, I think if they don't really show some serious progress with this update, uh, I personally am going to be done with Atlas. Now, I'm just saying this is myself personally. It does not mean there are other people that are out there looking at Atlas. And, of course, if you guys enjoy Atlas, you know, there'll be fantastic stuff out there. But let's go ahead, give it one more shot. If you haven't played Atlas in a while, this might be the opportunity to do it. There's a full server wipe, give you a chance to do it. And just to be clear, if you guys want to jump on a PvE server with us, we're going to be jumping on there on the 20th. Uh, go ahead, send us a message in our Discord. If you don't have that Discord, I will link that down below also. Uh, but we can go ahead. Anyone can come hang out with us, play in our company, do some PvE stuff if you want to. Just let us know. Just send us a message on the bottom thing. But, guys, that's really going to do it. That's my, my feelings around it. That's kind of my... This is my end-all be-all with Atlas. I hope it goes well. As I said, I'll do a couple videos maybe. Uh, and if it really goes well, then we'll do multiple videos and we'll keep doing them weekly. Who knows? But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope if you're new to the channel, you'll subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And as always, let me know what you think about Atlas, this update specifically, how it's going, the, per uh, the section it's going, and what you guys think about it in the comments down below. But I hope you all have a fantastic day, and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.